so I had to come back and give y'all an update. So, uh, with the test results yesterday and talking to the doctor this morning, we found out that we miscarried our baby. Eight to six weeks and two days. Um, I'm devastated. We were devastated. We were sad. I had a moment this morning where I had to kind of just disconnect. Disconnect from social media. Disconnect from life for a second and kind of catch a grip because I have honestly personally have been through a lot of major transformations um within the last three years and emotionally I have not processed a lot of this stuff y'all so this was the straw that broke the camel's back and I had to kind of release this morning I'm so grateful for my husband so grateful I pray and I show gratitude every day for this man because he was able to be there for me and allow me to be present in that moment to feel those emotions because a lot of time I don't talk about how I feel. I don't process how I feel with another person. Um, so I needed to release and I needed to release and in front of someone who will be able to nurture me the way I need it to. So I'm grateful for that man because he really helped me through this and he helped us through this. And he, you know, gave me a lot of words of affirmations and encouragement because I felt like I couldn't take any more losses, you know, but needless to say, hello. I'm Shell. I am a mother who has had a subligation and somehow I got pregnant. And from the moment that I found that day I could get pregnant, I knew that my body is powerful. The black woman is powerful. And um, we experienced our miscarriage. However, they are saying that we can still get pregnant. It's crazy. So, it's a lot to digest and unpack. But, um, this is another journey. So, come on, y'all. Let's go. I'm going to take y'all on it with me again. So, stay tuned for more.